Reggae Jam 2012, this is Reggae my name is Munchi and I am here alongside the big man himself. Um, he called us the children today, so I'm gonna say the father, Aijaman Levi in Bersenbrook. How are you feeling today? Well, I'm feeling good. It's a long flight from Jamaica, but I'm on a mission and I've got the work done. It please the people, and if it please the people, it please Ja. So I'm happy. Rastafari. You definitely pleased the people and it was really a deep and it was, it was a moving performance you delivered tonight. So how did you personally experience being on stage here at Reggae Jam? Well, I think I believe I've been done, I've done it before, but this is another step, stepping stone in Jam Works because I've done this all my life. So tonight I did a little appetizer. So next time when I'll come, I'll give you the full portion. Oh. Rest of all right. <laughs> I'm looking forward that, to that already now. Um, on performing on stage, not even only on stage today, you even came off the stage, you greeted the people, gave them hug, everything. Is that important to you to keep that connection between you and your massive and the fans? Well, it is important, but it's a spiritual works. And when I'm up there performing, I'm up there. And when the Spirit says for me to get closer to the people, to touch them, let them touch me, because some people can see you from far, some cannot. So it's an emotional love and feelings. And I know the love that they have for me. And I want to show them that the love that I have for them. So I get close to them and touch them. Rest of all right. You know. it, it, it was indeed a great feeling. I got a hug too. It was just lovely tonight. So you said you flew in from Jamaica straight. So you left Jamaica, although Monday is Independence Day. And we have 50 years anniversary of the independence. For you, um, what importance is anniversary now what what is different b having the 50 years now and what do you wish jamaica for this celebration well i have to be honest as a jamaican you know it's nice to know that my can my country reached 50 years and i'm glad that i was there when it started and i'm here now with it at 50. but there's a lot of things needed to be to be done and uh, it's all in the hands of the Almighty. I'm happy and I hope the people can be happy also. And I hope the country improve. I would love that in love and in righteousness. Because there's a lot of unrighteousness going on from the higher force to the lower force. And we can only hope and beg the Almighty God to walk on in Rastafari and you know change the the vibe, Rastafari, yeah. you know. But it's not only Jamaica that has a history, you also have a long, long musical history you can look back on. You recorded your first song when you were 13, is that right? You're right. A song named Red Eyes People, and right now my eyes are a little bit swell. So it's those works of the Almighty. But I'm not in pain and just a bit of swollen but the work get done i'm happy and uh, i know jay is happy rastafari you know yes. so so what got a 13 year old boy to go into a studio and record a song at this young age well it's many many generation and right now when i started it was roots and culture so i'm started from the roots and i have to learn the hard way by even learning to play an instrument and get to know the difference from A, B and C. Right. Now in this generation, it's not much instruments playing, if you can understand. The music is still good, yes, no disrespect, but the generation change. So I'm glad that I'm here at age of what I am, 66, Rastafari, and I hope to live another 66. Rastafari, because the way I feel right now, I can do that. But with the help and the guidance of the Almighty God. And I know roots will always live and roots will come forward again. But I'm glad that I am one of the roots that is still here this day. Rastafari, so I give thanks. 
you know in Germany we have a very popular song that says life starts with 66 you're feeling that also you can agree to that uh, well I can tell you I'm deeper than that I'm 66 yes first of all I like to say I live the number of the devil Rastafari but in righteousness I am 66 I'm born the sixth month of the year the sixth month of the year of a six one six and there's also 26 so I end up having five six so I'm going through that righteousness ways of six it's not a mother it's just a number you know that the way I feel if I think about the devil of course they said six 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 but it's not many man can live this number and I'm glad that I'm one of them that live the number and is going through Rastafari yes yeah. yes you appreciate all all that well because I have to it's not many one can say they live the three six <laughs> and come out good to look back and feel good about what what you've done and lived how you lived yes 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 that's right so I wish you all the best best thanks a lot for the interview and I hope and I wish you to live more and more and more and another 60 years 66 years or whatever pleases you you know word is power and if you said so so shall it be done Rastafari, Celestia. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. You. <laughs>